Well, it seems like the time has come to talk about the protection gear. Yep, really. First of all, I would like to say that this is a recommendation video. Depending on your level of skating, on the place where you are skating, on your skating style or the discipline that you prefer, you can choose whether to skate in a full protection gear set or to skate without any protection at all. Although I'd recommend to use protection while performing almost any type of skating activity, be that a recreational skating or crazy downhills, aggressive skating or slalom, some of these combs could be rather sharp. Finally, there are only two things that you always need to skate. These are two skates, preferably the left one and the right one. Other things influence only where you will skate in the end. To the success or to the hospital or even a tomb. On that positive note, let's start. Hello YouTubers, my name is Nixby, you're on the channel for those who love inline skating and wants to progress in it, and this is my subjective rating of protection gear items, starting from the most important to the less important ones. But there is one not physical thing that I strongly recommend to use every time when you are skating. I will give it a number zero in my protection means rating, that is a common sense. Yes. Don't try the tricks that you are not ready to. Don't skate in a traffic without a real need. I have a separate video on it. Don't skate on a speed that you don't control, especially downhill. And all that things. And don't forget to make a good warm-up before any severe activity. That can save your health even better than any physical protection. Don't skate when you are drunk and don't smoke. You will need a good lungs for skating marathons. But what about a physical protection gear? Number one, and the main one. And of course it's a helmet. Yes, you probably know a lot of skaters that have hurt their knees, elbows and wrists, and maybe a lot less skaters that have hurt their head while skating, but that's probably because they just can't tell you about that. Because in that case, one hit is enough. I've started wearing helmet permanently after that fall, seeing a few centimeters that were between my temple and the sharp stones of the stairs. I also recommend you to watch that video from Bogdan, where he talks why he is always wearing a helmet. And he is not a DIY amateur skating like I am, he is a professional skating instructor. Helmets save lives. Number 2. Wrist guards. The smallest part of a protection set, but very important. In fact, it is rather easy to break a wrist on inline skates. It is one of the most popular traumas between newbies in skating. Hand is usually the first body part that touches the ground when you are falling, and if this fall was unexpected, it is very important to protect the wrist joint. Also, even if you are not falling, you just lost your balance for a second and it's naturally to try to catch something with a hand and sometimes the city surfaces are not very welcome. You can scratch your hand, poke it, etc. Wrist guard will save you in that case also. Sometimes you just need only one touch to restore your balance back. Number 3. Knee pads. My wife hates when I have scratched knees. And the thing is that I usually use the knee first to restore lost balance. I don't fall completely a lot, but when I'm tripping, a knee touch could save me from a fall even without using of a hand. I'm not making a huge tricks, so breaking a knee is not a big danger to me, but scratching is a problem, so I try to use knee pads most of the time. And the last one, but also important, is an elbow pad. I keep my elbows far from the ground almost all the time, but when I practice some backwards, the risk of falling on my ass and back is rather high, and in that case elbows will get the hit also. What is important for elbow pads and also for knee pads is to have a proper size that fits you well, otherwise they can just slide away. 
That happened to me a lot. Other from that, I don't use any other protection gear, but you can use whatever you want. A crash pants, a cup or even a turtle back protection. And don't think that to use protection is not cool. To die because of your own stupidity on inline skates. That is not cool. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed. Share that video with your colleagues, parents and friends. See you next time. Bye-bye.